Cartoon Cat has come to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, as well as many other units, from crazy Mecha Godzillas to I don't even know what this thing is, and much, much more. Look at Cartoon Cat, guys. He looks fantastic. Why does he have two? sets of pupils. At the very least, they nailed the color scheme. He looks good. The question is, how powerful is he? And his opponent shall be none other than SpongeBob. And not just any SpongeBob. Huh? No, this cursed SpongeBob. The SpongeBob that has arms for eyebrows. I would also like to welcome you to my new arena, the Ring of Death. Stonehenge, if you will. Two beasts enter the cage. Only one survives. In goes Cartoon Cat, hopping along. It seems like his one leg is a little bit awkward and not moving so well. What weapons does Cartoon Cat have? Oh, SpongeBob is doing strange things. He's scaring me. Cartoon Cat with the left and the right. And oh, Cartoon Cat's doing some glitches. And there's things coming off of him. Or those harpoons from SpongeBob. I can't really tell. Uh, SpongeBob's arms are trying to come out through his body. And it's really weird. This yellow thing is a scene from my nightmares. And I think Cartoon Cat is the one with the harpoons coming off. Cartoon Cat not looking so hot. Cartoon Cat's on the ground. Stands up continues to fight. Oh, you hear the stabbing from Cartoon Cat's claws. Oh, SpongeBob just exploded in a display of many brilliant colors. Okay, Cartoon Cat is more legit than I expected. This new unit is the albino terror. Look at him. He looks like a white terror with spikes along his back. He has uh, feathers for eyes, so he's blind. Wow. That's great. And some vicious looking claws on his feet. And he's going to fight a unit we haven't seen in some time. This bladed, disgusting monstrosity. I don't even want to get close to it. I don't even want to approach it. This is straight nightmare fuel here we go the albino terror is moving in he's got some hops did you see that jump kind of super mario style you are dead. Oh. wait a minute was the albino terror a custom unit look there's the legs <laughs> and there's some extra arms it wasn't even a real unit it was all it was a homunculus it was a hodgepodge of human flesh this new unit is called gamora Zilla. It seems to be a weird hybrid of King Gamora and Godzilla, and he seems to be rather powerful, and he's going to fight an old favorite. This is Final Wars Godzilla. We used him in the last video. Click the guard in the top corner if you want to see the other video involving this Final Wars Godzilla rocking these humongous harpoons on his shoulders, and this fight should be more than interesting. Those are some machine guns coming out of the mouth of Godzilla. The wingspan on this unit is massive. Missiles are firing, bullets are occurring. I like that the different heads of the King Ghidorah are actually trying to attack, are trying to fight. And I wish this tail would smack this enemy unit a couple of times. This guy has the one tail. And over here, this guy's got the two tails. For the most part, it's two giants going at it and neither of them can really get the upper hand. I mean, we could take a look at the HP. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Final Wars Godzilla didn't stand a chance. King Shinzilla was victorious. Over here, we have Advanced Mecha Godzilla. And I gotta be honest, I think this is the coolest Mecha Godzilla I have ever laid eyes on. It's giving me like a Dragon Sword vibe from the original Power Rangers. I gotta be honest, this thing looks legit. He looks phenomenal. And he is gonna fight Godzilla Aqualitus or Aquatilus, a water form of a Godzilla. I have a bad feeling about how this fight is going to turn out because Advanced Mecha Godzilla has a lot of firepower and he moves very quickly and he dealt an insane amount. No, don't go. Don't come towards me. No, 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 no. I'm not your next meal. I'm not a snack. I'm too big to be a snack. Our next student is called Safijiva. Safi I, if I mispronounce that, I'm so, so sorry. And here is that unit I can't pronounce. Looks like a really cool looking red dragon, like a traditional red dragon. Fantastic. And he's going to fight Christmas turkey. It's a turkey. It's legit a turkey and it's gonna fight this red unit. And the red unit's got some firepower and some missiles. And the turkey comes in and goes for the peck, peck, peck with the neck. And I gotta be honest, Mr. Christmas Turkey, you don't stand a chance, uh, a ghost of a chance against a gun. This red unit is just pushing the turkey around. Luckily, we do have the Ring of Death, a Stonehenge itself, keeping the units within bounds so that 
No, it's not even a real unit. It's not even a real unit. It's another homunculi combination of torso and limbs. I'm kind of glad the red unit won, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Now we're going to see which one of these units is the strongest. Cartoon Cat, who won the last fight, is going to be facing Iron Man and the Imposter. Uh, Iron Man is just unloading on Cartoon Cat. I have a bad feeling Cartoon Cat is not going to survive this fight. This is the, the original Iron Man, not my recreation. Again, more videos in the cards, guys. Or in the new one channel. Just check them out. The Imposter is trying to get the skewer the stabby stabby on the cartoon cat and cartoon cat seems to be mostly ignoring what's going on has cartoon cat even landed a, a blow yet iron man is just unloading on the backside of this kitty did iron man run out of ammunition oh no there it goes now there's a friendly fire as he shoots the imposter in the back looking at the hp guys cartoon cat is not about to lose to either of these characters iron man is going to die and the imposter is also going to die Iron Man just exploded, and now if the cat would just punch the big block in front of it, just give it a smack. You are dead! Oh, I just it just pretty much one killed the imposter. Our two cats a little low P. Let's move up to a heavyweight fight. Two of our previous winners, Advanced Mecha Godzilla versus Ghidorahzilla. Who do you think is going to win, guys? This is actually a good chance to comment. Comment down below. Vote Advanced Mecha Godzilla or AMG for short, or Ghidorahzilla or GZ for short. And the fight begins, and the firepower goes off. Missiles from either side, machine guns from either side. The heads of Ghidorah trying to bite Advanced Mecha Godzilla. Who has more firepower? Who has more HP? Who is going to be victorious and maybe fight Cartoon Cat? I have a bad feeling. Like, why would he even fight Cartoon Cat? Cartoon Cat's probably gonna lose. Oh, look at the HP. Advanced Mecha Godzilla is gonna lose this fight to Ghidorahzilla. Are you kidding me? I did not expect this. I thought Advanced Mecha Godzilla was going to win as he explodes. Cartoon Cat versus the impossible to pronounce red thing. The victor will go on to face Ghidorahzilla. My money is on Cartoon Cat. There's something about the way this thing was built. I think it's got a lot more HP than it should and deals a lot more damage than it should. Poor Cartoon Cat is being trampled by this red dragon and he just is getting his neck broke. You're gonna have to see a chiropractor after this one, bud. Watching the HP, it seems that the red thing is actually winning ever so slightly. I have a funny feeling this fight's supposed to take a while, so um, prepare to pass forward. Yeah, neither of them are taking damage. So uh, let's go to the final fight, shall we? Because I think nothing is gonna defeat Ghidorahzilla. We've got Cartoon Cat and the red dragon against Ghidorahzilla. Do any of them stand a chance? Oh, Ghidorahzilla just destroyed the red thing. Cartoon Cat can't even get close. He's trying to get to the feet. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghidorahzilla is the strongest creation we have seen here in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator.